this person is away. This person is at their computer and it's uh, available for a connection. Um, let's say you wanted to add somebody to your list. If that's what you're doing, you hit the add. If you wanted to search for somebody in your list, because this can get long. <laughs> if you want to have like 200 names, um, they organize them as either on and connected in some way, or if you scroll down, there will be a similar logo, but it's faded gray. So that means their computer is off, or they have not turned on the Skype. Let's see. That's what it looks like. This is the video section in, in progress. Um, it depends how big you want the screen to be. If you've got a big screen like this, this is what it would look like. If you've turned on your camera, you get a small video so you can check that your head is in the right position, etc. Uh, my wife's had some fun showing her sister pictures. Uh, she found some old pictures, uh, wanted to show her sister, do you want these pictures or not? Rather than mailing them to her sister, they just got on Skype and she just positioned the picture in the right angle and her, her sister was able to, oh, that's a nice picture, I want that, send that one. So it, it was a lot of fun. This right here is the person's name. If you wanted to keep your privacy, you just put John Smith. You've chosen some sort of code name. I mean, this is a Barbara with 989521. Ah, maybe that's six digits in her uh, telephone name. And you get to put in a little phrase if you want to say, uh, well, she says she's in San Francisco for two weeks. She can go online anywhere her laptop is if she's got Skype on her laptop. She can be in San Francisco and still use Skype as long as she goes on to the internet. Um, just navigating, showing you what a typical Skype